Okay, here we go. We should... My mic should be good for right now. Hopefully. Um, no, it looks quiet to me. I don't know if it's just me or it looks quiet. It sounds like it's quiet and also my PC... No, it's just the mic. Never mind. Um... Can it work? Work? Come on, come on. That just makes it quieter even though it's closer. That is interesting how that my mic works like that. Okay. So we're here with phrases 12, 13, and 14. So we got the Virginia 500, Rebel 400, and the Tidewater 250. Turn this up just a little bit. So we got 81 laps at Martinsville, 76 or 67 at uh, Darlington, and 60 at Tidewater, or not Tidewater, <laughs> Langley. There we go. So let's try to get a good finish here for these races at least. I don't really care if I win or not. I just want good finishes so we can stay up in the top 10 if if I can. In the points. Uh, there's McDuffie still. Well, who's one person I haven't seen a lot of that made it to this race? Probably really main right there, but... Even then, I've seen him a couple more times than usual. <laughs> Pearson and Sears, like the, these top five or top six, well, even top seven. These top seven are pretty much the same order as there are every race that we do. It's kind of kind of cool to see that. Oh God, I don't. They're gonna be too fast. How do I get them too fast? Unless it's just oh. Let me check the setup. Okay. Because I believe last time we didn't have a setup, so that's why we were so slow, I believe. I don't remember. It was one, it was one of these races I forgot to change the setup for. I actually got my shifter to work, too. Let's just get going. Sorry for the little sniffles. Um, that's just my nose because of the allergies of the spring. And tomorrow I'll be doing a Targio folio. Going. Trying not to wreck already. I'm just trying to make a move, trying to get some positions down. Turn one, because I had the I had the ability to do that. As I think, I think, yep. There's a caution. So, uh, I don't know if me hitting the wall caused that, or I got in the wall and Jarrett clipped me to cause that. Because anyways, teammates were involved. I don't even know if I even hit, no, I didn't even hit the wall. Oh, I got loose and then I got clipped. Oh, I didn't even clip, uh, Gurney, I thought I clipped Gurney. No, I got loose off the corner. And then right there I get, uh, Jarrett real quick. And then Jarrett gets into the curves, and then those guys... Go slamming into the wall. Hard impact there. And then ba Curtis comes up and wipes out these guys. Almost turns himself over there. That's just how that Darlington is. I don't know how to fix the uh, 
It's just really just because of turns three and four being in one groove, and they have to bottleneck into that one groove. I like it just because it's the aesthetic that makes it fun. Also, because then we could have a first lap crash, and then have no more crashes afterwards. Like, if you can knock out enough cars, you'll be good. Also, I believe I put this. I think I did a live or made the live stream later or earlier today. Because if I did do it earlier today, then kind of my fault because I was doing a Battlefield video while I was wait waiting for the live stream to come by, and then I forgot about this. Or I almost did. Cause I I don't I can't because I have to remember because of the uh, target folio because it's not gonna be perfect because then I'm gonna have to be uh, pretty much posting this tomorrow which I don't want to I'd rather do the folio the race at target folio tomorrow and then uh, have it uploaded on Friday <laughs> and then. Uh, when it uploads on Friday, I'll have a live stream right after it. About the next, uh, uh, I don't know yet. I might do four races. It depends on what the next four races look like. And then Saturday is the first Battlefield 1 um, live stream of every other Saturday. So I'll start the every other Saturday Battlefield 1. So you're going to start seeing more of that. Battlefield 2042, I only have about two more months with that because I got it because of the PlayStation Plus. It's I I just don't... I, well, I already made all my Darlington Renamics, like my old Darlington Rec Renamics, before I even uh, started learning about taking out the walls. That's why I used the 70s version. I'm aware. Okay, so I did cause that wreck, but I don't. I don't believe it was completely my fault. I still believe there was a little bit of AI shenanigans there, them kind of balancing back and forth. They were checking up on the start too. We did make a lap or two before that happened. So yeah, I completely. A complete fail, I would say. So used to using my paddles, I almost forgot that I have to use my H pattern. Like they would. If, well, actually, I don't know if all cars would use the H shifter. And JD McDuffie is just going to spin us right into the pit wall. Oh. Hey McDuffie just turned us. Past him. Let him by. Stay behind the sixty four car. Okay, already getting off to a stupid race here. Oh, I was about to say, why is there so many cars passing us with us just the rest of the field? I thought I was getting lapped or something. Remember. 
Remember, don't pass the stop sign at the end of pit road. Oh, I can't even see the... Because that, that stop sign up there only works for the front stretch. Come on, guys, come on. Get going, get going, get going. I don't care about the penalty. I'm just going for it. Screw it. Screw the penalty. I already have a penalty in the first place. I'd rather take the penalty because I already had a penalty, so I was going to start in the back anyways. Also, I had to start in the back anyways because of me being the last car to pass the line. So, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter to me. So we got we took a splash. We took tires because we're gonna need tires. Because every time I don't I don't take tires, I literally was it not? I'm pretty sure it was a penalty because I'm pretty sure it's. A you're that or I got lucky for some reason. The game just bugged out and it's like I had too many commands at once. Because it did say at the end of the pacing line, which, I mean, like, if he says it like that with the little filter over it, then that means I got a penalty. Yeah. Yeah, I see, that's what I was expecting. Now I'm turn one. You turn one as a warming up capability. The PC BIOS was up, man. Cause I don't know that what that is. Cause I might know what you're talking about. I just don't know what that means. Cause I forget a lot of things. Like even in uh, <laughs> in uh, games, I would forget things. But once you show it to me or tell me about it, then I will know what you're talking about. It's like I didn't know what a firewall was, but I knew what it was supposed to do. Also, some people are pitting after that caution, so I don't know. If some strategy. Oh, it boots the computer. Um. Uh, I mean, if anything, I would because I won't even be able to get on my computer if it boots the computer. So I would say, yeah. Oh no, you meant like have you ever like uploaded just, like some if you meant like somebody no I I I thought I saw updated. And I was like I sure have. I would never send it to somebody or upload it. Even then, I still probably am thinking about the wrong thing because there's a bunch of things that are on your PC that you do not want to upload to other people. Like videos, that's alright. You're good. Videos, as long as you're not uploading a virus on purpose. I wonder if. No, because I think YouTube would get rid of the virus. So really, you have to like package it and have a virus. It won't you, unless someone corrupts it. I don't know how that would work if you upload a virus video to YouTube. I think it would just literally do nothing. I also remember when uh, Roblox was hacked for like uh, like a whole month, and nothing was happening through that whole month besides.
Yeah, I... I never had the uh, update pro process screw up. The only time they ever screwed up was uh, when I had my old computer. Because that computer was about to die anyways. And it would pause the updating and it would just turn off randomly. And now I had to restart it and do all that. And I was like, well, if it's going to die, it might as well die now. Because I already had another PC on standby. And that's the one that I'm using right now, so... I got all the use out of that old one. That one, that old one didn't do that, that uh, bad of a job. As bad as what I remember it being like, because I could barely... Whoa. That's new. I wasn't even driving the thing, I was literally just talking and just calm, like calm, all calm. I wasn't even like wiggling it back and forth and the thing just broke loose. Now it's breaking loose again. What is happening to these tires? The Pearson just passed us. And then Rory Main just dumps us. Like, what are we doing? Like, what? Why? Oh my, why is it always me? I'm just trying to talk and then my tires just randomly just stop working. Like, I can't even get past these guys. Look at this. This... This is unbelievably stupid. Like, our t Look at that. The left rear is completely dead. I don't know what happened. Because I, I don't think that's from the crash. So stupid. It shows how one mistake can go into multiple other mistakes because you know AIs like this just screw you over. Like we spin, I don't even know how I spun. I was literally like the easiest car. Like I was taking it easy. I wasn't even trying to move that car around. I was really going into the corner and then it just spun. For whatever reason. And then I'm coming to the line and then the 46 runs through us. <sighs> this race is already being like, uh, what was that race? I think it was Hickory. It was pretty much like Hickory. Now we have to take tires. Now our car is screwed. Well, it's not screwed. Our car is actually pretty fine for what it is. It's just stupidness of the AI wrecking me for no reason. It's gonna make us lose so many goddamn positions. So unbelievably stupid how AIs can just it's complete. Like I don't even know why I did to upset the tires. Like I wasn't even sliding through the whole race, and then I spin, and then AI just screw. That's AI of uh, Roy Main just runs through us, and then you got JD McDuffie's. Well, JD McDuffie spun us earlier in the race, so it's usually it's just, uh, really it's just the AI and Warren sort are completely stupid. I mean, I know it's Martinsville and all, but like even back in the day, you wouldn't even do that much bumping around. Where's the 46? Me 49? Are you sure? Oh, the 46, I just realized. My guy that I want to actually dump, but I can't because I don't want to go through 17 caution laps. Where's the 46 at? Damn, we're all the way up here. Actually, this might actually be fine for me, actually. Get ready now. Going green. Cars in. Green, green, green. Car in the top 20. Keep low. Like, what are we doing? Like, why are we trying to... Why are we turning me? 
Like, I don't get what this guy's problem is. And now our car is just getting slammed by every angle because, you know, the 56 is trying to dump me for no reason. And then he dumps me, like, what are we doing? Like we just get absolutely ran through. Like this makes no sense. So we're okay, look. We are going down to the corner. He just lays it on us and then right there I gotta get off his get off of him because he's just gonna turn me and then it just turns us right in the Curtis and then flips us over. And then the rest of the field just piles in, and like Bobby there just slams us into us. Surprised no one else just ran into us. And then over here, you know, I'm taking the bomb side, and then boom, he just runs right through me again. Like, what are you doing? And then that's why I was just slamming this car the whole time, because it's like, why do you need to do that? There's no reason to. Now I'm a lap. I'm still. Pr I think I'm still just a lap down. I don't think I have gone past by the pace car, so I think I'm still just a lap down. Yep. But these guys are taking so goddamn long just to have him pass them, even though he didn't even pass these guys. Like he wasn't even in front of these guys. He only passed the 53, and then you know he. So now the. 20, the 24 is retired, the 56 car is retired. I can't even tell where the car is in front of me, because of the idiot that wrecks me. Well, too bad, I'm going one more lap, because I can't just... Can't automatically just give you it. And I got the 31, I tried to hit him so maybe I can fix his issue there. But that didn't work. I can't tell where the car is in front of me. I believe the car is that car right there, not red car. The patch car, because if it's not, then I'm slamming through somebody right now. I'm surprised this car is even still fixable. If we can, if we can just stay one lap down, it'll be good. Come on, come on, just let me stay one lap down, stay one lap down. Now we're completely fucked. Yeah, this car is absolutely fucked. The pace cars in turn one. The pace cars in turn two. Go, go, go! Watch that speed now. Keep it on 3500 in second. The pace cars on the back straight. Stay behind the 31 car on the inside line. Watch that speed now. Keep it on 3500 in second. Okay, merge when you can. Like, I hate the stupidness of... I know someone's gonna say that it was my fault, even though the 46 runs through us twice. I'm not even. Like, it's unbelievably stupid there. Dumping me for no apparent reason. Other than just because.
right on lens and buy because this car is faster than mine because he barely has any damage. So stupid. Like, I don't get why the AI has to run through everybody. Like, I go in the corner, I'm clearly ahead of him, and then he's just laying on my bumper and then trying to spin me. Like, I'm so done with the AI at this point. It's absolutely dumb. Like, Half the time it's not even my fault, half the time I get mad because I haven't seen a replay. This time I already know it was his fault. He just ran through me and then I have to move out of the way or I'm getting dumped like when McDuffie dumped me. I mean, I kind of hope Petty gets his first one of the season. Car inside. Clear. Car inside. Still there. Clear. Inside. Clear inside. Inside. Also, I don't mean to be kind of in the way here. I'm just trying to let everybody, but I'm already kind of done with this race for the point I'm just kind of just holding one hand on the steering wheel and just riding because this car ain't gonna break loose unless someone just jacks me up for no reason. Oh, and they just wreck each other in front of us. That, was, that one wasn't even my fault. The four, when I dumped this 46, obviously it was my fault, but coming to the line, that wasn't even my fault. I guess they were scared. <laughs> they are like, get away from him. He's after... I mean, I did kind of corral them both, but even then, like, he kind of just... <laughs> yeah. The only reason why I dumped the 46 there was because he kept... He dumped me to cause a caution, and then, or well, I spun, and then he wrecks me coming across the line, and then he dumps, he tries to dump me going to turn one too, and then I have to uh, maneuver out of his way, and then I flip over and right because of that, and then trying to go back to the pits, he runs through me again, so he's pretty much done with me at this point. I want to get hit. Should probably try to hook him. But I, I couldn't really hug him because he came up so fast compared to what I thought he was gonna. So stupid how this race is. Th these races are just. These types of races are stupid. These types of races make absolutely no sense about why we get wrecked. Because I wasn't even doing anything, I was just minding my business in 15th, I think it was, and then I s accidentally spin because of the tires just being tires, and then everything else happened. And we get What? Why is there some? I. I honestly don't know at this point anymore. I I am about to just leave the race already. Like, what am I gonna gain? Stay behind the 29 car. Stay 
I mean, if you know the AI would wreck each other too, and instead of just wrecking me, we would be in an okay boat right now. I could actually, you know, care about racing. Darlington is when I'm probably gonna actually, if I wreck on the first lap, to actually keep trying the race, because like. That race is definitely gonna have a lot of crashing. Because usually we get like 11 cars at the end of the race, so. If I can last that long and get 11 cars, or more than half the field out of the race, then it's better for me. Stay behind the 46 car, stay on the end of the pacing line. So I'm not done with him. Every time I see him, I'm gonna get the chance to at least bump him into the wall. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna wreck him every time. I only wrecked him that time because I felt like I should. Felt like it's his fault for even starting that, because he's gotten to us three different goddamn times. He doesn't deserve to even be here, if that's the case. Get ready now. Going green. Pace cars in. I think I actually got our position from uh, Jimmy Helms because of him being, I think, going to be three laps on this time. And then I'm going to pass him in that, I think. Or right, he's still only two laps on. Surprisingly, only still two. But like a caution, like a big wreck with half the field involved or something like that. I him by because I already know he would try to wreck me. If. Again, the pit stops, even though I think they already pitted a couple times, I don't think they're gonna have an issue with pitting. Or tires or fuel, any of that. But if they do some, for some reason need a pit, I'm gonna be in a good spot, at least. Because I have 30 good, 30 laps of fuel still left. Like 30 more, I meant. Because I have 60 in total. And if they can barely make it, then that means I could probably get some positions from that. Yeah, this is gonna be a long booty or live stream. I can already feel it. Because <sighs> this race is gonna be pretty long because of the five cautions that we've already had because of st idiotness. First caution being a little bit caused by me, and then every other caution has not been caused by me. My always been involved in it for some st stupid reason. My, my tires are randomly starting to lose grip out of nowhere. And then almost getting spun, almost getting spun again, again ran through and then flipped over and then again ran through under the caution laps. And then finally the last one, which actually was my fault, me just slamming into the 46 just because I can and he's an idiot.
I'm gonna finish this race just because I'm trying not to get an R D enough. Unless this car blows up like Atlanta. Which I don't think it would blow up because I'm not full draw almost the whole way. I'm so zoned out at this point. Like, I kind of forgot what I was doing. It was finishing this idiotic race. Here comes the leader. As Roy Main is having trouble passing anyone, like he should. Because all he does is run through people. Got Pearson using first, passes me. Then I can get down to the bottom because I have a little bit of room f from. Between me and Derringer, so I can be on the bottom for a couple of laps, possibly even knowing this lap. Just trying to finish just so maybe I can gain any points if someone blows up or if somehow they start pitting. Um, and then somehow maybe I can get points that way. Too much there. I knew I was gonna get to the wall, that's why I didn't try to overreact there. I kinda just let it roll into this corner. It's gonna be a little loose going here, but I'm so slow that it's not gonna do anything. Or do much at least. Hey, we're coming up to 10 to go. It's coming up to the single digits. <laughs> and then this pain will be finally over until we get to Darlington and have be flipped over on the first lap, probably. The thing is about Darlington, it's gonna be worth at least trying to get back out on the track for at least about 10 20 laps. Just. See how many more people wreck, and then how many more positions you can get from that. Car Clear <coughs> At what point you can just start acting like a... What's his name? Um... Who used to drive the 1962 and 61? Oh yeah, Herman Bean. 
you can just start driving like Herman Bean at this point. You can just uh, coast at about 70 mile per hour when you're all damaged and just trying to get around the racetrack. Honestly, I think that would actually be funner because then you get lapped so much, it's a lot. You pretty much get like about 20 laps down, so then you'll get about uh, 20 last laps to do. It's still gonna take the same amount of time, but it's gonna feel a lot less str uh, painful for you because they're not doing as many laps. But you're still going slow, so it's gonna feel the same amount of time. Especially if uh, it doesn't work out and no one else wrecks after the first wreck. Or if anyone wrecks at all. Which, that means you wouldn't even wreck anyways, because that means you didn't get caught up in this. You didn't get caught up in it. I'm trying to hold up her relentless just a little bit here, because he still has a lap down from me, and now I'm gonna let him by. Just gonna hold him up just a little bit, just so that I don't get a chance for him to lap me again, so that he can pass me. Or get past me to g actually get past me because then he just unlapped himself from me. So now he's on the same lap as me, but he's 22 seconds behind me. About to be 23. If I was like right up on his bumper, this soon. I don't know if I've gone. Nope, I haven't gone into the uh, uh, 46 yet. Can't wait to get to that car. If it, if I can't even get to that point, cause I've I don't even think I can, cause I don't think there's enough time for them to even appear back. So, which is a good thing, cause then it won't make me have the instincts of killing him. Cause originally I was gonna just slam him in the wall and try to flip him over, but I was thinking maybe if I just spin him, I'll have a little bit better luck at least finishing this race. A little bit more sandy to finish. Oh, he's four seconds behind, but this is the light flag, so... Oh, the leader's behind us. I forgot about that. Oh, some people are pitting, and some people are about to wreck. Someone just slams the wall here, that'd be nice. Just gets tumbled over. Oh, actually, no, I won't even have enough laps to even pass them, so. It wouldn't even matter. Also, Mori Main already finished because he got lapped again. So. That's just gonna. Imp that's just gonna help us not slam through him after the flag. Oh, we will, because Starlington is probably the most easiest thing when half the field starts wrecking out for you. Oh, he didn't finish. He retired. He can't do that. Same with Don White. Uh, David Pearson won. Richard Petty almost got, got his first one of the season. Three, and I have four. Yeah, look. Pretty tight there. It's just I haven't been able to get a good finish that race. I'm only 200 points behind, which is... It's not that much compared to what the start of the 65 or 65 season was. Um, now we got Don Tian. So we got Patty still up there. Panch and Derringer are pretty much the only new ones up there. Uh, who else is? Who's new here? You got uh, Biederman or Biderman, one of the two. He's in his probably second. Or third race, we got Roy Triner or Tyner there. Also probably first or second. Also got Ruth McMillan. Haven't seen him in a while. Same with Cuckoo Marlin. Um Oh, I I was calling this I was calling the ninety seven her Henley Gray. It's not Henley Gray, it's Cuckoo Marlin. I'm stupid. Um Got Tom Pistone. I don't know if he's been on the races, I just don't remember, but you got him there. 
I have a lot more faith into this race than the AR race, honestly. Because if we can get by the first lap without any any type of wrecking, then we should be good for pretty much the rest of the race. Have a little warmth in the rear tires, so maybe we don't completely screw up the start. At the fourth, we're gonna have a uh, two pit stop race. I can already tell it's just gonna be two and not uh, one, because you. I don't think you could ever save enough. I would think it would only be two. It might be three, but that's depending on how many cautions we get here. Now, what type of strategy do I play here on the start? Do I play the laid-back start, or... Let's try it. Because those guys are still... Those guys are going pretty fast for the start. I don't know if this is gonna... Be too fast. Yeah, no, I could've went a little bit earlier. I just was trying to make sure I didn't pass them. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't even gonna get there in time, but... It was safe. It was a safe tactic. That's all I can say about. You're on the bottom, three wide. You're on the bottom, three wide. Outside, clear. The yellow flag is out. And there's a the first lap wreck. Probably a couple. Don't think ever, anyone really wrecked out in that wreck, but something. And they're wrecking up in front of us. That's probably where the DNFs are gonna come from. And then the 26 just runs through us. We had plenty of room! Like, what, what are we doing? There was plenty of, of room there, and then he run through us. Okay, we're under caution. Catch up to the end of the line. Thank god I wasn't too far. Like, I don't- we had plenty of room, and then he just slammed right into us. Like, I do not get these AI. Ro just slammed right into us and caused us to flip. Look, he has the whole outside, and I even turned away trying to avoid it, and then he just slammed right into us. Like, what are we doing, AI? It's always these, there's certain times when we get these stupid races where I get involved in the stupidest things. And here's one of those races. As I believe he's out of the race, it looks like. Gurney. A lot of those guys are probably out now. Yeah, look at that, they're just piling in. Rillin's in trying to go from the top line. I believe he was part of the first crash. Yeah, he was part of the first crash. I remember seeing him sliding there. Oh, he almost flipped over to 53 also. Yeah, lucky thing he comes up right there. And then almost flips him over. But 67 gets some damage. Don't think... Oh yeah, he's out. Yeah, and then there goes the 11 also. And these guys were spinning too. Did he flip over? He looked like he was about to flip over, but I think they were like 4 wide. No, they were 3 wide trying to come back on the track and almost flips over to 94. Look at that. And, oh, God. And he got... Me spawn because it's avoiding that one right can turn four and then the 26 just run through us and then we flip over because of it.
And there goes the 86 slamming in the pit wall. And now he's probably gonna get stuck up in the wall over there. How many, race, how many cars are out? Only four so far? Oh, five. Surprisingly, only five. Go, go, go. Hey, go quick, go so I can stay on the lead lap. This is another lap, but never mind. Cars all the way around this time, guys. We'll fill you up. <sighs> Did we pass one? I don't think we do. Because I don't think he would let me buy if I have to. That's no, Jared, anyways. See, that's what let me buy. Pace cars in. Green, green, green. Car inside. Clear inside. Oh yeah, they're gonna wreck. I see a car up there slow. Inside. Yep, they're wrecking now as we speak. Oh, they saved it actually. They're good. Surprise lane are good. Outside. Clear. Outside. Still there. Clear. Yeah, my car is nowhere near as fast, but we're gonna get a caution, so. If it's gonna be me, it's gonna be or if it's not gonna be me, it's definitely gonna be one of them. Some people are paying. That's interesting. Car inside. Stay high. Or three wide. You're up top. Three wide. Car inside. And now uh, Jim Pascal almost dumped us. The yellow flag is out. Let's go. And of course there's the yellow. There's too much debris on the track. Okay, we're under caution. Stay behind the 42 car. You're now in the top 20. Yeah, that's not bad. We at least made some laps, but still, I don't know what happened there. I'm pretty sure it might have been just a stop car or someone slammed. No, I think that's what happened. Someone definitely slammed on that pit wall. Someone must have to have. It was like around here. Oh, it's probably. 
That's probably your culprit right there. You hear that? You hear that? Or you got that car that's flipped over, that car with no rear end. You also got these guys over here. They almost wrecked, but we were fine. So, really, the only thing I can. Because then we barely spun. And then they threw it right as we were passing the line, so. Oh, it was a pit crash. And it was Roy Main, of course. That's what he gets for wrecking me at Martinsville for no reason. Look at that. So that's probably going to be about six retired, maybe even seven at this point. We already have cars two laps down, one lap down. Whoa, he's six and eight days also just wrecked the game. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Stay behind the 87 car. Yeah, that's definitely not the 87. Okay. That's either the 88 or 86. It's the 88, so that's it. Paul Cars who slammed in the ends field of wall there. Have a car flip over and turn one. Is that what I just saw? Stay behind the nine car. Nine car. You know, he told me something. Diff diff different number. Stay behind the nine car. Well, if the nine car can actually get up here. We're going green next time by. Okay, we're on the lead lap. Stay on the outside line. Stay behind the nine car on the outside line. And of course, I'm last, even though I was in front of that three car. Three cars finally are dying, or he had to let someone by. Green, green, green. Car outside. Keep it up, keep it up. 
There. I think I might have a trunk gone. No, I think that's just car itself. Yeah, I think I might have made an adjustment, that's why. Or it's just because I didn't change my tires. And then I won't think of it that loose, Jesus. I was pretty fine that they're there, so might have just been some type of tire coldness. And now we're just saving it. And now we're stuck on the inside. Okay, good. I didn't get hit there. I think someone flipped over up there. No? Someone felt it looked like someone was on the wall. But I hope they keep going just a little bit further, just a couple more lives before we get like an iron bad crash. Ninety three all out of power, that's for sure. That's probably what caused that little bunch of well, let me in. Oh, they're wrecking hard up there again. Yep. No caution. Oh, never mind. About to say no caution, but they are a caution now. Try to get around these guys. Get window. I'm surprised this car is even in seventh right now. As you see, the race is already taken, so we have about seven cars out of the race. There's probably going to be eight and nine coming out soon. And we haven't even got halfway yet. We're second somehow. No, we're not gonna go for the win because here that I the only reason the only way I can win this race is if I can get Pierce into a spot where he has to check up going to three, and then I can just block him from there. Or if the next pit stops work out 
Well, fine. What are we waiting for? Am I supposed to pass you? Stay behind the no. thick car. Almost 10, that's about 8 or so cars out of the race now. Wow, that's the first time the AI actually just let me save the car instead of ran through me. They're gonna wreck in turn three anyways. Is that Pearson? I knew he was gonna get stuck. And that guy screwed up the corner because of it. At least a lap here. Okay, we're under caution. Stay behind the pace car. You are on the point. Okay, Let's see what happened back there. I think it was around here. Yep, that oh, 04 got completely dumped. Right there, it goes up and over. Yep, there it is. Ouch. And then Cuckoo Marlin goes over a couple cars. And then that's probably our car of the race for 49. Anyone else crash?
road is now open. Changing just the right sides this time. Right sides only. We're going to add some wedge. Don't go over 70. Keep it under 5,000. In second, we'll give you a half can of fuel. The pace cars in turn two. The pace cars on the back straight. We won't fix the damage. Go, go, go! The pace cars in turn three. The pace cars in turn four. Watch that speed now. Keep it on 5,000 in second. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Stay behind the 70 car. Okay, merge when you can. green next time by. Okay, we're on the lead lap. Stay on the outside line. Stay behind the 70 car on the outside line. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> 30 cars are left in this race, so that means about 13 are left to race after 26 laps. Coming to that point where more than half the fuel is going to be gone. I got stuck on the bottom there. Jesus, that was a stupid start. No one has wrecked yet. It's like my only plus so far.
come in a halfway, but... I mean, the race has definitely been eventful. We're in fifth somehow. Which, unless if we get pit stops and we can somehow pass everyone in front of us, like, position-wise, down pit lane, come out in front of them, I don't think we're gonna win. But we're at least gonna finish a nice spot, at least. That was pretty close to the wall. It was like a ripping and tip situation there. I can't say I'm the most entertaining person right now. Us, or at least we're in this situation. In this spot. Good luck coming back to us at least. Give us a little bit of help. Is this four fear? Guard yeah, that's Pearson, all right. Clear inside. I was losing off the corner too after bouncing off the wall in accident. Twenty car, which I believe is that car, that red car up there, behind the red and white black car.
Yep, that's Clyde. Pit stops, anyways, that's usually what happens. Oh, and there was someone hitting the pit wall. Okay, we're under caution. Stay behind. And we're in first. Back in the lead. Pit road is closed. We'll fill you up. Changing just the right sides this time. Right sides only. So let's see what what happened there. Because I know it was a car that hit the wall, but I don't know exactly. It was Richard Petty. Coming down. Too fast. Boom. And then. See what else happened. Just in case there was more stuff. It's like. He was just coming up the lane. Doesn't look like anyone wrecked. <laughs> oh man. Now we got twenty eight cars. In the race, so. So we're coming to halfway on cars as we are already halfway through the race. Got 26 to go, coming to 25 here. Keep it under 5,000 in second. The pace cars in turn two. The pace cars on the back straight. What? I only chose. Well. The pace cars in turn three. Go, go, go! Don't go over 70. Keep it under 5,000 in second. The pace cars in turn four. Watch that speed now. Keep it on 5,000 in seconds. The pace cars on the front straight. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Stay behind the 34 car. Okay, merge when you can.
Okay, we're on the lead lap. Stay on the outside line. Stay behind the 34 car on the outside line. Jesus. Of course, the uh, time I go three wide and actually doing pretty well. Like no one was wrecking, so I decided to wreck behind me, and then the 59 getting clipped by me on accident at the end of that. So, let's see what caused that. Because I go three wide, we're good, no one's wrecking, and then these guys really caused the caution back here. I wasn't causing the caution, we were just... I was sliding, but it wasn't like I was going to crash, because I was straight right there, so I was fine. And then these guys start wrecking, they all start dying, one car gets stuck in the fence. And then, what happened here? Oh, I just got loose, because I... Just stepped on the throttle again. There, there goes Pesto. Oh, and they got Hilton too. You see the 87 back there. Wonder if Norm got stuck too. No, he's fine. I think really the only guy that had problems in this crash was the 87 of Buck Baker because he got stuck in the fence or in the guardrail and then the 59 of Tom Stone out of the race and then Jimmy or yeah James Hilton getting out of the race because of that too. Actually no he's fine. <laughs> he's just smoky. There's 27 cars, but there's about to be only 26 or 27 or 25. Look at that. There's so many retires and they accidents and they got camshafts, pistons, no fuel. Or there's now only 26, and then Pistone should be out soon, so there'll be 25 cars left. Pit road is now open. I don't need fuel because we barely went. Actually, don't take tires. No tires this time, Just take guys. a the pace cars in turn two. We'll give you a half can of fuel. The pace cars on the back straight. Pass the 16 car. Don't go over 70. Keep it under 5,000 in second. Go, that go, should go. help us on the Remember, case of fuel. Don't stop sign at the end of pit road. We won't fix the damage. The pace cars in turn three. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Stay behind the 83 car. Okay, merge when you can.
Yeah, it has an invisible fence. <laughs> I don't know if... No, unless that wreck with Ned was in the oh, 70s version. Wow. You're back in the lead. Stay behind the 87 car. Back in the lead. Come on, 87 car. Just pass me. There you go. Right now we're somehow leading a very trashy car. And there's only going to be... Oh man, there's more Chris bags in the race. You got Buddy Baker, James Hilton. So that would make 24 cars only in this race. So that's about half. About half the cars remaining. Half the cars out. Look at that. What's happening back there? Let me check. There was something. There's something happening back there. It was like rotten here. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a crash. Someone definitely flipped over in this. No, oh, it's are an idiot and they just slammed into each other on the caution. And I was right. They did flip over. That's like three more cars out already set up. Like, come on. This race is getting a little stupid, you know? I mean, all the Donuts racers are like this. I think that's pretty much the fun, only fun factor. Also, just because of the aesthetic with these cars. It's just the, seeing all the wrecks. Like last, the yeah, Southern 500 for the 65 season, we had Rich Petty, I don't remember who it was, got stuck on the guardrail next to each other in turn one. Oh, that's 20, 23 cars now in the race. Yeah, that's definitely half at this point. Yeah, we're gonna fuel. We can concentrate now. I don't know about the AI, because if I need a splash after that pit, and they went earlier, they might actually have to... Some of them might have to pit again.
I'm surprised. We flipped over two races in a row and we're still able to finish. And then this race even possibly win. Flipped over at Martinsville, got 29th. Just at least finish, just to see if I can get any more points. Also, uh, make sure that I get DNF marked down. Um, in this race, we flip over our, during the first rack that spanned from the back stretch to the front stretch. Flipped over there, and now we're in the lead. With coming to 20 or 12 to go. Definitely one of the longer I think because of all the racks. Langley is going to be like the best race because it's not going to be caution fest. It's actually going to be like Bowman Gray, like I expected, where it's just <laughs> green flag all the way almost. Besides me actually explaining that, I think it was. I think it was Isaac on accident. Oh, I tore out the fence and made a banking and flipped over it and then put it back in for the edit.
Just found more to go. Okay, fire to go. Coming to three to go now. That car is a lap down. Now we got two to go, so at this point we're pretty much good to go, even if a caution does come out. And A6 is just trying to wreck us. With 21 cars finishing. This race. We're gonna get the white flag. Lap, lap. You're the man. So at this Come point, on, it's pretty much over. So this will be win number five. Race 13. So I won about half the race so far. And Pearson has three wins, so he's only two off of me. And there it is. Now, we can go to Langley and actually finish that race for... So we can finish the stream. I always thought there was a victory line here, but there's not for some reason, even though there should. What about an only 20 award in the cars finished? I did not run. Oh, I was only two. I was pretty much two off. Yeah, tire problem. Yep, and there it is. So, 21 cars finishing. Technically, 20 didn't. Wasn't at the end, pretty much. Or, 20 was at the end. 21 weren't at the end. Okay, last race. First, let me, uh,. Well, and change those laps back. Cause I knew those races, those races get kind of annoying very quickly. So I put them down so far. Now for a race I can actually deal with. Even though it's supposed to be 250, but. Oh, that's my fast lap. 18, 19, okay. A little slow, but, you know, better than nothing. 
Okay, last race. We are gonna have to pit, it looks like. Maybe we can save in fourth gear, but I don't know how this is gonna work. they are down the straights, it's questionable. Usually they're very fast down the straight and very slow in the corners. There into the wall. Car inside. Clear. Inside. Stay high. Still there. Stay high. You're in the middle. Three wide. We blow. Stay low. Still there. Outside. You're on the bottom. Save my stuff. A couple of problems on the way. I got the piercing there. And I almost got a buck there. Trying to get off the piercing, I almost turned him. Hutchison hit the pit wall there trying to clear me. track and almost wor it actually worked through the corner there, I actually passed both of them. Get the inside of Petty, one of my Ply uh, Plymouth teammates, and they got Chrysler product in front of us. Okay. 
Okay, you're in second. Outside. I get around Hilton. And then set my own pace. Just be nice and easy with it, just so that we can have enough fuel for the end. You're in first. Expected to get them that uh, quickly. We'll give you just a splash of fuel outside. Still there. Still there. Outside. You're on the bottom. Three wide. Car outside. That car is a lap down. Stay low. Clear outside. Oh, oh man. Surprisingly no caution, but lucky what got turned into the wall pretty hard there. Spawn. Oh. Spot by Curtis there. Limit 35. Keep it under 5,500 in second. We're going to add some wedge. The pace cars on the front straight. You're too far to the left. You entered a closed pit. Okay, you've got to go to the what? end of the longest line. You're too far to the left. The pace cars in turn one. You're too far forward. Back up. The pace cars. In How do I get a penalty? Keep it under 5,500 in second. The pace cars on the back straight. The pace cars in turn three. Go, go, go! The pace cars in turn four. Watch that speed now. Keep it on 5,500 in second. The pace cars on the front James Sullen just blew up. Okay, you're clear of fit lane. He's running second before I spawned, and he would have been first. But now he blew up.
I don't know why everyone else could have go, gone down Pharaoh just to stand by, could. Again. <sighs> what else? We, oh, this race went 30 laps clean. Now it's kind of turning on us. That time wasn't even our fault. And I believe it was Danger that got turned by Jared and turned us into the wall. The six car of Pearson was on top of the fifty six car and now he's stopped. Okay. We got trouble in turn three. What is happening? We got Hilton out with a camshaft, that's why he was out. The ninety three car was in the pit lane because of Well, we know why. He slammed the wall off the of four pretty hard and then you got the six car over here. I don't know if he just stopped because he has a problem. Oh no, it was a checkup. And they got ran under by it at the 56 of uh, Herd of Beasts. <laughs> Are we having that situation again? No? Okay. That's good. Yeah, I expected this race to go green, green the whole way, but then we got swept by, uh... I don't remember, was it Derringer? No, it was Kurtz. It was Kurtz that spun us. Made the first caution, and the second caution, Derringer got clipped by Jerry and pushed us all the way into the wall. And under caution here, we just had Pearson got on top of a uh, car because of a checkup.
Jesus. And the sixth car just dumped us. Car is still working. Okay, we're, under caution. we're leading for a good while, and then we just got dumped, and then it's going all downhill right now. We got big time problems with that motor, buddy. Looks like we're bent up on the back end. Oh, 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 man! Like Whoa! Now, this is pretty much gonna put us a lap down because of having to repair this car. Pit road is now open. Keep it to 35. Keep it under 5500 in second. Stay behind the 14 car. The pace cars in turn one. Oh man, they're showing us a black flag. Looks like you passed under the yellow. They're gonna make us do a stop and go. You can't clear a black flag on a restart. Sit tight. This is gonna take a while. The pace cars in turn two. The pace cars in turn three. Okay, I'm gonna be. Uh, yeah. Since that's repairing, uh, I'm gonna be back in a couple minutes. Uh, and then we'll finish this race um, after I eat real quick.
Clear on the front straight. Just trying to get this car back out on the track. Is Ryan gonna be a lap down? Pace cars in turn one. Yeah, that car was fast, so I would think we'd be kind of. I think we'd be all right. In turn two. Of course, it's not gonna be a perfect car, but. Pace cars on the back straight. Go, go, go! It's gonna be something. Limit 35. Keep it under 5500 in second. Watch that speed now. Keep it on 5500 in second. The pace cars in turn three. The pace cars in turn four. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Stay behind the 14 car. Okay, merge when you can. We're going green next time by. We're now on the lead lap. Get on the inside line. Stay behind the 56 car on the inside line. <laughs> 20 laps to go. We have enough fuel for that, yeah. Green, green, green. Outside. Not a turn one. Get through two rows. Clear outside. Outside. Clear. All outside. Stay low. You're on the bottom. Three wide. Outside. Stay low. You're on the bottom. Three wide. Outside. Trying to get the positions I can uh, after being or getting all up down there. These guys out of the way. Not trying to wreck them because of the crash. I'm just trying to get around them. So before, just so I can just pick up lost time after that wreck with Pearson. Cause me to be this far back. Oh, sorry. Clear outside. Didn't mean to run in the back of him. Clear. Wasn't anticipating a break like that. You're now in the top 20. Car outside. Stay low. Still there. Keep low. Clear outside. Car outside. Clear. 14 to go. I think that's Petty leading the race right now. Outside. Around Kale for 18th. It's probably 17th. One of these cars. I know for sure 93 car is three laps down, so he's not position. I know the 04 was on the lead lap. So now we're in 17th, so yeah, the three car was a lap down, and this car is also a lap down. So he's going to be a position, and then the 93 is going to be a, a couple laps down from us. So we're trying to get around him, and then Petty right there, the blue car is the leader. Because we're a lap down, so we're just trying to unlap ourselves real quick. about that being a car that's more lap down than we are. 11 to go, try to get my lap back from Petty. Car outside. Is he's kind of just using, or using the car as, not as much as possible, but as he needs to uh, stay in front well, he's kind of just letting go, just riding, because he has 10 laps to go on a pretty decent lead from second place of John Sears. We got just 10 more to go. Does not look like this car is ever gonna blow up within the next eight laps or nine laps and we just lost a lap there so so we still got nine laps I 
Really, if anything, that's all we gotta make sure of is that we don't blow up so we can actually make it. I'm not sure we'd be in our caution, so maybe we can repair it even more so maybe we have a chance of not blowing it up. I, mean, I can do so much with the time you're given. Back of the field, which are Clear. mostly cars are on the lead lap because there are more cars on the lead lap than lap down. So most of these cars are positions while uh, some are, while our cars are a little bit further up or not. I got top to go. 10 here. There's a 42 is a lot down. I got around him on the inside. Got the 11 of Ned. Give him a little shot going to right. three. Get around outside. one for top 10. There you go, top 10. I'm not gonna be able to get to the lead because that's way too many cars in front of us to make that. Not going to be some front of us trying to get around him as we got three to go this time. So he's gonna block us down the trailway, it look like. If he tried to, it look like. So the next car in line for us is the 64 car of Elmo Langley. I'm trying to get nine from him if I can. Going to two to go. Three wide for I think it might be eighth if windows on the lead lap. We get around Elmo and window. Down Curtis, which I believe is the lap down. A6 car, which I I think is a lap down also. White flag. Now A6 is for seventh. Let's get around him. Oh, no, 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 please. Get turned, get turned. Oh, no. He just slammed into us for no reason. He just... Oh, my God. Oh, someone, please push us. Please push us. Please push us. Come on. Bring it on home and let's get the heck out of here. Oh, I think maybe I actually was in the race long enough where it didn't count me as a DNF. Because it went just to zero and I haven't passed the line. Oh, thank God. I would have gone to top 10, but then I got turned down the back straightaway and then got slammed by, I think that was Jim Pascal. But luckily, it did not count as a DNF. And also, luckily, I was pretty far up in the pack for, uh, I still had a pretty decent finish, so that's that's Pay's first win, and next race will be Middle Georgia and Star Richmond Charlotte. And how far? Yeah, it's pretty far until Daytona again. This race, well, I don't know how it's gonna be. I don't know how this race is going to be, but anyways, that'll be it for the live stream. Tomorrow, I'll be doing the Targo follow you on GTR2, but be posting it the day after, which would be uh, Friday this week. Um, so, let me be on heads out with that, because when that posts, that's the day, or after I, that posts, uh, later on that day after I get off of school, um, I'm going to be doing... Uh, races 15, I, I think this last race was 14, yeah, so it would be 15, 16, 17, and maybe 18 we will do, but I don't know, but anyways, that'll be it for the stream, and I'll see you guys on Friday.